Hi guys, in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to set up the advanced search for the new responsive framework. Now we do this in the admin area, under the theme options, click on the general setup tab and it's the fourth tab along the advanced search. Now by default when you install a the theme you usually get the keyword and the category options. If you don't want these you can click on the remove field or you can move them around if you wish to change the, um, the actual display order. Now we have three buttons at the bottom that allow you to add new fields. We've got the add keyword, add custom field or add taxonomy field. Now the keyword field is this one we've already got so we don't need to add that. And if we just have a quick look at the category, now we have this taxonomy value for the category. So basically the taxonomy as you can see in blue is a taxonomy field as well. So the only taxonomy we feel we're really going to need at the moment is the category. And the value we need to make sure we've got set for the taxonomy is that we're displaying the listing categories and not our blog categories. Because obviously we want users to search through the listing categories and not our blogs. And the difference being that in WordPress the default post type is, for, is posts, which is where you usually create obviously your basic content um, or you have your posts in your categories. All of, our, all of our new responsive themes use a custom post type called listings. So obviously when you create listing categories, um, they'll be separated. And those are the difference. And that's the taxonomy there for categories. Make sure you click on the listing categories. The rest of this can be, can be ignored as you're obviously going to be searching specifically for the category anyway. Okay, so we can go ahead now and add additional options. As I said, we've got the keyword there already, so we don't need to add a new keyword. But if for some reason I remove this field and I wanted to add a new keyword, I can just click on add new one and then drag it back to the top if I want it at the top or I can relocate it anywhere else. The add custom field will let me choose um, a custom field on my website and it will give you a drop down box here of all of the existing custom fields that WordPress has saved in its database. Now a custom field is useful. If I clicked on the left hand side menu under listing setup and I create my own custom fields for my, for my listing pages, I might want to go ahead and then obviously search those. So for example, if I have a price Say for example I, I'm, um, I'm allowing users to enter a price value, I might want to search that on the website. So if I go ahead and create a price, I'll give it a, what is the amount, and then it's going to be an input field, I'll give it a database key, and this is the key element here, is this database key, because this is the field that we're going to be searching. The database key is the key that WordPress will save um, the value under. So for this example we're going to keep it as price, um, and the rest we can just ignore. If I jump back to my website quickly, submit a listing, oops, scroll back, assign it to the listing package, there we go, go back to the website, create a new package, and as you can see price is set here, so if I create this listing, testing price field, okay, I'm just going to assign it to anything that's free, because I don't have to pay for it. Um, price is 100 and it's obviously the dollar amount I uh, just click on the map anywhere to get me sorted out, there we go save me listing ok so I've got a 10 dollar amount for this fee to pay so I'll use the admin option to test the callback so yeah I can see that's working i do a quick search there we go, testing price field is now in the search results and it's got a price of 100 dollars Okay, so now we're going to try and find this using the advanced search. So we go back to the admin area, under the general setup, advanced search, we add a custom field, for we're going to call this price, we're going to, the select field element here is where we need to select the database key that holds the value for the field that we've just set up. So in this case it's going to be price, we could add a subcaption if we wanted to, the field type, well the field type we entered there was text, the data in the field, we know that the price value is going to be stored as a numeric value, so we need to select numeric. And how do we want to um, match the results? We can select here if um, the, end, the query that the user enters would select it exactly, if it's greater than or equal to, greater than or less than, etc. etc. In this case, we're going to have a minimum value. So, for example, we want a, a price greater than the price that we entered. So if I choose uh, greater than the search query, so that means if I entered 50, then obviously 100 is greater than 50, so it would return the result. 
but if I entered say um, 105 then obviously 100 is less than 105 um, therefore it wouldn't return the results and the split on the home page is only if you're using specific cat, uh, widget options so I just click on save changes if I go back to my website and look at the actual um, advanced search option we've got keyword category and price so let's give it a test we know that the test price field is 100 we know that as a setup option for this field we've chosen to re the value must be greater than the search query so if we do a search for 50 we should get this value because it is greater than 50 and there we go the result has turned it if we hit 105 this value is greater than this value and therefore we shouldn't get any results and there we get no results so that's the basic concept of adding a numeric price field or any numeric value as a search option um, and you can do it with any, everything we could just remove this save our changes add a new custom field for say your package ID or anything there's a number of different um, elements here we could use hits now hits again is stored as a numeric counter so you could have like um, you know popularity you could use your own search options for popularity and you can search through any of the fields that are here now by default we've got these ones at the top called WLT and then you've got country search state search city search and obviously zip and postcode search and these kind of work together uh, and what they are they're built in using the actual let me quickly show you using the the results that the user selects when they click on the map option at the bottom here now this is a very useful tool and it, it might look a bit bulky but it's extremely po um, powerful and very useful for your actual website so by allowing the users to click on it will actually save you a lot of time um, in the long run because the user actually clicks enters a location for the listing at the same time as you collect your longitude and latitude data as well so that allows us to then plot all of the details on a map find country searches etc so let's go ahead and set up our country search but first let's make sure we know where we're going to be listing this data so if we select where we are in Scarborough in the UK there we go so let's click on Scarborough there we go click on save listing and if we return to the admin area and set up a country search now so advanced search so we've got keyword category and now we're going to add a custom field for the country so we enter country and we simply select the country search option the rest of the options here we can just ignore for the moment click on save now if we just quickly test that we click on here we'll, we can now see that we have a huge list of countries now it would be absolutely pointless for you to expect the user to click on every country and search look for results when there's no results in the database so what we've done is we've tied the country selection um, to a drop down under state so if we add another one custom field click on state or enter a state value you could have a province state whatever you like uh, we've just called it state because the majority of our customers are from the US so we'll click on state click on save we've tied the country to the state so if the user selects a country it'll tell you if there's any results um, within your website for that country so if we scroll down to the UK because that's where our sample listing is you'll now see that we have one value which is found the state here so UK and it's our test price field now we can go ahead and extend that even further with a city just by adding the city element so we click on add custom field scroll down give it city select the city search here click on save go back to the website again so same same concept again scroll down we're gonna click on United Kingdom we're gonna click on England and there we go we've got city of Scarborough click on search and there we go we found that the listing that we set Scarborough for and we've got all that data specifically just from clicking on that one map now the other good result is if I go back is if we click on this map icon here on the search results it's going to draw as a nice map with all of the elements that have been found in these search results so as you can see it's been plotted already on the map for Scarborough and it's even got the name of the listing there so it's just another a quick way of using the map element within the actual listing process um, for grabbing data and using it on our website. Now we can go one step further again. We can go ahead and add a, um, a zip code search or a postcode search. To add a new custom field again using zip or zip postcode, whatever you like. Call it blah, just to say that you, you can use whatever you like. 
but the, the option you select from the search field is the zip postcode search and we scroll down click on save changes go to our website go back to the home page again so I show you this is where we've extended the options now to country so we're going down to country and we've got state city there we go and this is where the user can enter a postcode and select the radius so obviously if you enter the postcode for where we are here as you can see at the bottom there y11 y11 uh, UK let's have a look. there we go and then you go you can find everything within the postcode search and obviously you can select the radius to see how big a distance you're searching for so it's a very rushed video tutorial but hopefully a quick guide to show you how quickly you can add um, custom fields via the admin area and also using some of the um, options already built into the system to create really useful country, state, city and zip code search tools um, within the new responsive framework.